Okay, y'all, so it is a gloomy and a windy day today. I think today the high is like 55 degrees. And while I have a whole bunch of stuff to do outside, today we're going to take it inside and we are going to make rosemary peppercorn medley infused olive oil. So let's go ahead and let's get started. everyone so today we are about to make something that is so good and so flavorful and that can be used on so many different things so first of all if you are new to this channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you for taking the time out to watch our videos i definitely hope you consider subscribing to this channel and make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification every time that we upload a new video so today we are going to clip this rosemary and i actually have two if you guys looked at the intro video the one rosemary plant that i was holding this is actually what it has grown to now now i'm keeping these in the pots because let me tell you a quick story before we go inside so this little area may be very familiar to you but i actually a few years ago had six rosemary plants that i got for one dollar y'all one dollar and i put them all over there where my little girl is now they grew they were beautiful i loved them i couldn't give them away enough like i was growing so much rosemary but a lot of people that i know they don't eat rosemary a lot so they just grew to be like big bushes and so what happened was we had to get some work on the fence done and the guy that was doing the work he had to do some digging y'all he uncovered six snakes and i told y'all i can do a lot of stuff but i'm just not where i need to be at with snakes so you know what i did i pulled each and every last one of those up and i was like uh-uh because i just can't do snakes right now so i have these in the pot and so we're cutting them today to make some um, infused oil but it's definitely going to be like double duty because when I cut them it's going to encourage new growth it's going to encourage them to branch out and be bushier now I know I can't keep them in this pot um, for too long um, they'll have to be moved uh, maybe I might do it later on this year because they are getting big and every few years you definitely need to pot up to kind of give the plant room to go but i'll worry about that later right now we are going to cut some rosemary and we are going to take it inside so let's go ahead and we'll do that real quick and then i'll meet you back in the kitchen okay so we got our rosemary here and i intentionally clipped a little bit more because what i want to do is take some of the rosemary here and put it whole in our bottle right here. This is just a simple bottle from the Dollar Tree, but I wanna put a little bit of rosemary and the rainbow peppercorns as garnish um, once we get through infusing our olive oil. And I'll tell y'all a quick story. Rosemary is one of those herbs while growing up that we didn't cook with. As a matter of fact, I was introduced to rosemary while my husband was stationed in Naples, Italy. And for those of you who don't know, we are retired military and Naples, Italy was one of our duty station and I absolutely loved every minute of it. And I was really upset when we had to leave. Like I tried to get my husband to extend so bad, but um, that is a whole nother story. So anyway, um, we would often go to restaurants because they had a lot of family owned restaurants there. And um, this particular restaurant, there were several rosemary bushes. And when this, this guy, he was so proud of that rosemary, like before we actually sat down and ate because we would eat outside like al fresco. He took us to one of the rosemary bush and he was proud. And y'all know how I love plants. So I'm like, putting my hands through it, feeling it, smell it. Still had not tasted rosemary before. Now, in Italy, you have a lot of different courses 
I don't know what course we were on at that time, but when they brought out the rosemary and garlic potatoes, y'all, y'all know how I like to talk. I told the guy, whoever just cooked that, please tell them to come out here because we need to talk. We need to talk serious. And he did. He brought the person out and we conversated about the recipe, y'all. It was so good. It was one of those moments and y'all have to comment below. Have you ever tasted something so good where you just, just close your eyes, you just close them and you just say, mm, 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 mm. Like that was one of those moments. And to this day, I cook rosemary and garlic potatoes because they are so good. They are that good. But that is not what we're making today, y'all. We are making rosemary and peppercorn medley infused olive oil. But this olive oil right here, y'all, is going to have so many uses. And I'll just give you a few. So it, you can use this to make a salad dressing. You can use this as a dipping sauce for your bread. Um, if you like lamb, you can put that on your lamb. I mean, it's just so much you can use this for. But here is the thing that I want to tell you guys before we get started, because we're actually going to get started tomorrow. I'm just prepping right now. If you don't hear anything else that I say, just hear this. When you are making an infused oil with an herb or with anything, please, please, please make sure that like for in this case, once you wash your herbs, make sure they are all the way dry. I'm talking like 200% dry because you don't want to introduce any bacteria from it being wet and you introducing that water to the olive oil and it's not the oil, but it's the water. Like you, you don't want a nasty growth is basically what I'm saying. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to wash these herbs. I know I just picked them, but you know, sometimes we got all kinds of animals in our backyard. So I'm going to wash them and I'm going to lay them flat and I'll definitely put up a picture and I'm just going to pat them dry but I think overnight, I'm going to let them air dry because I want to make sure they are 200% dry because this is what I want you to know. This is also a great hostess gift. Like if you're going to visit someone and you don't know what to bring them, make some of this oil because it just has so many uses, but you don't want to get anybody sick either. So that, if you don't take anything else from this video, take that from me like make sure that all of your herbs are dry. They're a hundred, they're 200, they're 300% dry before you even infuse them. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to wash everything and lay everything flat to dry. I mean, I'll try to dry it as much as I can by patting it dry, but I'm just going to let it air dry overnight. And like I said, I'll show you a picture and we'll be back to do the actual infusion. I really wish somebody could invent like smell a vision like seriously, it smells so good in here. So what I've done is this is just a regular sheet pan, standard sheet pan, and I've laid the rosemary, I've washed the rosemary real good, laid it down on the towel and see I'm still looking at water spots. But um, I'll try to demonstrate it with one hand. I have another tea towel y'all that I'm just putting over here like this and i'm just really kind of patting this dry so i'll do this really good until i think it's dry but then like i said i'm also going to just even if you don't let it sit overnight we'll see based on the time but just let it sit for some hours and just kind of air dry it and if you can see the water is um absorbing so let it stay on this sheet and then we'll come back and we're going to get to infusing y'all because this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good and it's going to smell so good. So it is the very next day and our rosemary has dried overnight. It is nice and dry. I made sure of that. And so all you need now, just depending on how much you're going to make, we're just going to make this one batch today. But if you want to make several batches and make sure you give it away to your family and friends to taste, then you will need a bigger pot. But the thing that I did last night also is I went ahead and washed 
and dry my pot and my measuring cup and let it finish air drying. So every single thing is dry. We're starting off with everything dry, no water anywhere. Okay, so then all you have to do is, um, I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of the rainbow peppercorns in here. And then this bottle is like uh, 21 ounces, I think. Uh, so I put like 20 ounces of oil in there, um, maybe a little bit less because I'm also going to use some of this extra rosemary and put it in there, not only as decoration, but also so that it can continue to infuse while it is in the refrigerator, y'all. Y'all see how easy this is? It is super easy. So basically all we have to do now is we're going to warm our oil up on the stove. Okay, you're not going to get it to where it's boiling. You're just going to get it nice and warm. You're going to turn the heat off and you're going to let it infuse. Now, at this point, this is where you're going to have to freestyle because everybody's taste bud is different. What I may think is strong, you might like. So the time is going to vary. So I'll start off at about letting it infuse um, for 10 minutes. Then I'll come back and I'll check it and see how everything is because I do like that strong rosemary flavor. So you may just want it to infuse for five minutes just to give it um, just a hint of rosemary. So it's all going to depend on your taste and how strong you want this infused oil. And then after you get the taste that you want, that is when you're just going to let it continue to cool to room temperature, and then you're going to bottle it up. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead, pour my oil in and let that warm, and then we'll put our rosemary. And like I said, I'll probably put like a tablespoon of peppercorns in there because I'm also going to put a little bit more in the bottle. So let me go ahead and do that now, and then I'll come back. So here's a really quick tip. Before you um, put the rosemary into the olive oil, into the warm olive oil, kind of go in and agitate um, the rosemary just to kind of get the oils to kind of come to the surface. So I'm, I'm doing it with one hand, but what I'm going to do is take um, both hands in just a second, and I'm just going to agitate it just a little bit just to get those oils to come in to the surface so that they can infuse a little bit better into the oil. Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to show you real quick why my oil is continuing to warm up on the stove. I went ahead and I had to cut in half some of the rosemary sprigs because they were too long. They were coming out the bottle, but I just went ahead and cut the rosemary and put that in the bottle. And then also I put the peppercorns in there, y'all. I just think it's so pretty already. So just imagine what it is going to taste like once we are all done. But so now I'm just warming up my oil and getting that warm. And I went ahead, these are my sprigs. These are one, two, three, four sprigs that I'm going to use um, in the rosemary oil because like I said, I'm only making one batch and then I'm gonna use a tablespoon of the rainbow peppercorns. So I wanted to show you real quick, I got my oil nice and warm. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the sprigs and I'm actually gonna to have to cut those in half too because they're a little bit too long for this pot. Hold on just a second, y'all. Okay, so they're a little bit too long for the pot, so I'm just gonna take it and cut it in half, and I'm just gonna let them start infusing. But quick story, and then I'm gonna put the rosemary in there. I love the smell of olive oil. While we were staying in Italy, I would go on a lot of trips to um, where they actually had the olive trees. We would pick them. We would take them back to like where they would press them out with the olive oil press and then you can see the process of it done so they're all different types of olive oil so um you know you just whichever kind you like and just make sure is actually olive oil because a lot of them have different blends where they're just mixing different oils but just the smell of this olive oil smells so good it actually has like a fruity smell to it but anyway so i can stop talking y'all I'm about to put this in here, put the peppercorns in there, and I'll let you see, and we're just going to wait. Okay, so now the oil is infusing. I moved it off of the heat 
and put it on a totally different eye. So I'm just gonna check after a few minutes just to see if it is a nice flavor because remember y'all, some more infusion is gonna happen because I put um, rosemary and olive oil sprigs in there also. And so once you get the flavor that you are looking for, go ahead and um, take the rosemary and the peppercorns out of the oil so that then it can just cool off until you're ready to bottle it. Now, what I'll do is I'll get a whole separate container and I have a strainer that has like a filter on it. And so I'm just gonna pour the oil through that. And so all I have left is the rosemary and the peppercorns. And then I'll wait till it's totally cooled off at room temperature and I'll come back and we'll show you the final pro product. Okay, y'all, and just like that, we have our infused oil all done. What I did while I was waiting for it to cool is I made a little neat and thrifty label for it. You can do this in like Microsoft Word, but we got our label and it is all ready to go. Like I said, you can give this to your family and your friends, or you can use this for yourself. It's perfect for salad dressings and dipping sauces, but it just has so much flavor packed into this. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. And I definitely hope you make this infused oil and don't just limit yourself to rosemary. You can use so many different herbs and flavor your oils. Just remember the principles of making sure those herbs are dry. So you all, if you're not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure that you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. And until the next video, bye-bye.